Hello everyone and welcome to Lakeside Living. Today I'm back at my craft table and I'm going to be making an easy burlap wreath. Not only can you use this for the Christmas season, I'm going to show you how you can use it for any season throughout the year. So let's get started making this craft. but it's a frame it's metal it came from the Dollar General and it was not no more than three dollars this is a rather small wreath but I wanted to do that purposely for this video so you could get um, you know the overall view of it as I'm making it I also picked up four spools of burlap they came from Walmart uh, they are the wired burlap and they say two and a half inches by 15 feet I got four of those. I did not know how many spools that would take uh, for this particular size. I don't think we're going to use all of that, but I wanted to be on the safe side. You're also going to need some jute. I use this, like I always say, a lot on my channel. That came, again, from Hobby Lobby. I picked up some greenery. Um, just, it's just floral greenery out of the Walmart craft section, and I cut it already down because it was humongous. And I knew for this size of wreath, it would be way too much. The last thing that I purchased for it was 75 feet of ribbon. Um, I purposely got this uh, amount because I'm gonna use that when I decorate for Christmas. And it's just a silvery, uh, wiry kind of ribbon. And it was $7.98 for the 75 feet. First of all, you want to have a, a trusty pair of scissors as well. And you want to take any part that has this metal piece, any straight up piece, and you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to fold it in half. You're going to insert it around that straight piece and you're going to be tying it on with jute. That way it secures the burlap. And you don't need very much of the, the jute. You just need a small amount just to get it secured. I'm going to double knot that. Okay, so that's on there like that. Now we're going to be taking from we're going to work from the back side forward through the inside. And we're going to be stuffing our finger, some of that burlap through, and making a loop. Now, depending on what size of loop you want, I put my fingers in there. Holding it steady, go through the second one behind it. And you have your second loop. You have two loops now. First one, second one. Then we're going to do it a third time. Do the last section of that wreath frame. And we're going to have three loops. So you can kind of see what it's starting to look like. Okay? And we're going to continue to do that. Now when we get three loops, we want to hold it together at the back. We want to secure that. Then we want to take it and squish it over as far as we can to the other side. Continuing to do the same thing again. Putting it loose there. Going through the second hole, making another loop. And you can see it's forming a wreath. There again. And we're scrunching it as we go. You can fit as many of these as you like in each section. 
So we'll continue to do this, and then we'll go on to the next step. sure the, the frame doesn't show and let me tell you when I got and I ran out of a spool I've almost used two on this size of burlap I'm not lacking very much till I till clear to the end um, what I did you just need to you just need to fasten it again that new piece on that straight part of the wreath and keep working as I showed you and looping it through so you're just attaching a new piece of spool, or the new spool, just like I showed you with the jute. So let's cut this off. Enough that we can wrap it and we can secure it with jute. Again, we might be able to just tuck that in there. It's kind of the back where it doesn't show on your back side. So there's that. Now I've decided just for Christmas I'm going to put this on, but I'm not going to glue it on. That's why you can have this wreath for any season throughout the year. Basically, I'm going to secure that on with some jute. That way, if I want to take it back off, I can, and I don't have to be worried about burning the wreath itself because nothing is glued on. I'm going to secure it, just I don't care if you can see this dude or not when I'm putting it on because we're going to hide it with some ribbon, that silver ribbon that I bought. season and maybe put something for winter on there, I can just cut that back off. So, there. Now for my bow, what I like to do is just take and make a bow out of this, first of all. Just like if you were tying a shoe on your shoe. And then you're going to have to work with the loops. Try to keep securing it. You don't want a real big one because this wreath isn't that big. So you want to kind of just secure it on there. And there again, we're not going to glue it. We're just going to keep it 
We're just going to keep it uh, secured all with you. took that long to make. So, I hope you've enjoyed this craft project. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and ring that notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.